All right, so we have finished our running stitch, back stitch, chain stitch, cross stitch. Now we're going to move on to our star stitch, which is a cross stitch with a few extra stitches. Oh, and I forgot to, did I put it in yet? Yeah, I put it out there. All right, we're going to now do the threaded running stitch. So this requires two different colors of fabric. What's going on back here? Um, not sure what happened there. So we're going to begin with just a regular running stitch. All right, now with the threaded running stitch, we're going to come out with our second color, okay? But instead of going up and down through the fabric, what we're going to do now is weave our way through the loops that are created. Sorry, so you can see that. So I'm gonna go through the thread itself. So I can continue going the same direction. So I'm always going from the same direction here and I'll show you the pattern that will make. Okay. So it kind of almost makes like a rope look. I can also alternate. So I can go through this direction and then this direction. So I can go opposite directions here. And it's a slightly different look. So I am, again, not going through the fabric at all, just going underneath the loops that are created from the running stitch. All right, so you can see that they're a little bit different. This one is more like a line and this one is more weaving in and out, okay? And then to finish that, I just go through the fabric at the end. There we go, tie it off. The last stitch we're going to do is the fern stitch. Okay, so we're just going to make a V of sorts. And then advance. You can also do this part first, where you do the center, and then, and that might be a little bit easier for you actually. To 
to be have your stitches be a little bit more even. Now we have finished our embroidery sampler. Um, to finish this all the way, we can take it off the embroidery hoop. Um, it's pretty messy all the way around the edges, so I'm going to cut this circle out as neatly as I can. Just using the crease but you could also while it's still in the hoop or whatever you're doing just draw a circle around it with a pencil so you have a clearer line all right now this kind of fabric the edges will fray so if you want to prevent that oops got a little tail here um, you can even do a blanket stitch all the way around so here we have our finished designs and the original patterns. So you can use any kinds of colors that you like. Um, but here I have numbered each of the stitches. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, same with all of these. And then on the back, here are the uh, names of the stitches and kind of a, a little bit of a how-to just as a reminder of how to do it um, so you are free to do that whatever fabric you have it doesn't have to be white um, it's just easiest to trace that but you can also freehand it as well all right so enjoy trying embroidery